Hello my artsy friend, welcome to today's video. We are going to welcome autumn season and we welcome the change of season. We welcome this spooky season and we're going to make an acrylic paint of a forest where orange and reddish tone are going to be the main character. And it's also spooky season, so this uh, forest is a bit gloomy, a bit dark. Um, yeah, let's start. The first thing to do is just create my background. And because I want the tone to be mostly orange and I want this orange to filter through, I create just a layer of orange color. I'm then using a sponge to uh, dip into this Indian red color that are going to represent my forest, uh, my leaves, uh, but also the background of the trees. So it's going to give a quite dark, spooky look to my forest. I decided, to, especially in the center, uh, in the background, uh, I wanted a bit of a, a light filtering through, so I did use a bit of the white to get the light in the background. And I forgot to say that I am painting on a uh, acrylic paper, uh, which has a slightly rough texture. But it's not my favorite. I am though in a mission to use up this uh, sketchbook. I love painting with the sponge. I'm using it a lot and I use it to also add some yellow and I also add some light brown color. I'm going back to my brush to create the body of the tree and I'm using it uh, side to side and moving around so that my tree can be a bit wiggly, not very defined and just representing trees uh, but also representing movement. I'm going back to my sponge to create the side uh, of my road, of my path, with a very dark green that I actually mix with a little bit of a black and give the idea that there is some also separation in level between where the tree stand and where the path is. I am trying to extend my path uh, down into the background and I realize that that is too bright for me. I need to add a little bit of extra darkness and I uh, use at first a yellow greenish color and then I'm going with my little brush to add extra um, yellow, extra white, uh, and a touch of red. In this way, it looks like the path continues uh, down and in the back. I'm, I created now a gray color because I wanted to just give the idea that there were some rocks there, and then I used the sponge to uh, just smudge everything. Um, because I didn't want it to be too clear. I want more to obtain an express, expressive uh, artwork. I'm using this raw amber to create my path. I keep using the sponge because I want the background not to filter through still. I want my orange to be still visible. 
uh, but uh, it's a bit too visible so I will go ahead later on and add another layer I'm trying to create some tiny little mushroom now of a light grayish color adding later on some uh, touch of red on top but they are really tiny so unless you know they are there you won't really see them but they add in a little bit of extra value to uh, the design and i will also try to add some very tiny pumpkin on the left side of the path but once again is orange and orange and they are tiny so it goes a little bit lost unless you know they are there and that is fine by me because I just wanted to create the idea and as I said I wanted the artwork to be expressive so I don't really want to create anything that has absolute definition so guys let me know what you think of the final result down in the comment and remember to press the like button if you enjoyed the video if you haven't already subscribe here we're doing a lot of mixed media pieces and we like to discover new supply thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye